Hi, this was the first in a short series of videos on creating websites with Node.js and Express.js. Um, the goal of this series of videos will be to create a website similar to Reddit, something like a social media site that allows people to log in, um, post ideas or comments, um, reply to posts, um, log in with a username and password, create a user account, and things like that. And you'll be able to, uh, to do these things, and hopefully when you're done, you'll be able to look at the material here and, you know, um, repurpose and use it to create your own ideas. Um, so let's get started. Uh, what is Node.js? Well, Node.js is a server that's built on Chrome's uh, JavaScript V8 engine, or V8 JavaScript engine, right? So um, essentially, Node is the server. So the server processes HTTP requests. When you type an address into the bar in your web browser, then the server handles that request. Like essentially, you're giving it an address and you're saying, hey, I'd like to get a file or, um, you know, get something from you, and then the server replies with some files, okay? Um, Express.js is a fast, unopinionated, minimalist framework for Node.js. So Express works on top of Node. So Express is the like the abstraction of all of the processes that you might want to do when you you know interact with a web server. Okay. So instead of us having to write a lot of you know detailed, um, low-level code, we can write very abstracted, higher-level code in Express that does just the things that we need to do when we serve up our web pages, okay? So how are you going to get started? Well, what you'll need to do is you'll need to install Node, and Node works on the Mac, it works on Windows, it works on Linux. Um, you can go to the nodejs.org here and download the latest version. Okay, you don't need the, you actually you don't even need the, the, the latest one with, with the new features. You can just get the regular download here. So download and install this. There'll be a different process for Mac, Windows, and Linux. It's a little bit different. So you can follow their instructions. And when you're done, you'll be able to go to the terminal. And if you type in node-v um, and hit return, you'll see the version number for node. Okay, so typing in node-v says, hey, like, let's look at node and get the version of node. Okay, um, so once you've done that, you're good. Um, node also comes with another component called NPM. NPM is, stands for Node Package Manager. And um, Node Package Manager um, allows us to manage a lot of, uh, you know, code that's been written in other files, right? So we can import those files and use them in our projects. And um, Node Package Manager is a way for serving up those files. And the, you know, all the developers around the world contribute um, files to NPM or contribute them as NPM packages and make them publicly available. So we can use NPM to install and manage those packages, okay? And it comes with Node. And you can check the version of NPM that you have by going to the terminal and typing npm-v. You can see I have version 5.6. It looks like I'm actually a little behind here. I've got version 8.4, and this is up to 8.9, but that's okay. Maybe I'll update later. Um, but anyway, there we go, right? So um, once you're done with all this, what we'll do is we'll use, we'll use npm to install Express as a package. And you'll see here, um, you can read about Express here, and you'll see when we're on the Node site, or I mean the Express site, you'll see that they give the command here, npm install express dash dash save. So when we create a project and we want to include the Express framework, we'll use this command in the terminal to add it via npm, okay? And then when we run our site and test it, we'll use Node.js as the server, okay? So anyway, thanks for watching. Install Node check that node is running and npm are running by checking their version in the terminal if you're on windows there's a little different process for that but you can read about it here um, so follow those instructions and then you can continue in the next video